Roger Musson speaking to us earlier. Well, Nepal is still trying to recover from those earthquakes with aid agencies warning there could be a humanitarian crisis if the people left homeless aren't given more help. Matters are being made far worse by a blockade of the main supply routes to bring in aid by ethnic groups in the south of Nepal who are angry at the new constitution brought in by the government. The blockade's already forced fuel rationing and seen supplies run low. Many people have accused India of supporting the protest by the Madeses. Uh, the World Food Programme says food prices have reached such levels that hunger and malnutrition loom. Well, with me is Nepal's Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister, Kamal Tapa. Let's start with the earthquake. How much of Nepal has been rebuilt since April? Well, uh, immediately after the massive earthquake, uh, we hosted an international donors conference and uh, the international community uh, generously pleased uh, for the cooperation and the, uh, for the reconstruction uh, projects of Nepal. So after that uh, we decided uh, to establish a reconstruction authority. Uh, but that's but only just been passed, hasn't it, Minister? Yes, it was passed. Why, why has it taken so long? Uh, because of some uh, political problems within our country, because of the differences between political parties, and uh, uh, and also it affected because we were quite busy in the uh, promulgation of the constitution, and immediately after the promulgation, well, well that, I mean yeah. that's another big issue, yeah. isn't it? Because yeah. you know, we're talking about this blockade. Yeah. Well, I think it was UNICEF was saying this was a political difference between adults, uh, which was actually going to lead to huge blows to the children of Nepal because of the short shortages there. Now, the Madeses, yeah. uh, they are unhappy with the constitution. Are you going to give them what they want? Otherwise, this blockade is going to continue, isn't it? Well, the constitution that has been promulgated um, on September this year, uh, it is um, a very inclusive uh, constitution and it has given rights and um, uh, authorities to all sections of the Nepalese society, including Madesis. Yeah, but the Madesis represent, what, 45 to 50 percent uh, of the population. Yeah. What is the representation, for example, in the army, in government? in the police? Well, 45 percent uh, has been reserved to all the uh, marginalized sections, including Madhesis. 25 percent? 45 percent. 45 percent has been reserved um, uh, to all sections of the Nepalese society, especially those who are marginalized Dalits and the Madhesi communities. And besides this, uh, the constitution has provided uh, uh, for uh, inclusive uh, representation in all uh, state organs. Uh, including uh, national parliament and the provincial uh, parliaments. Well, because I think the, the president and vice president, I think, are, are Madesis as well, but those uh, those have no executive real role, are they? I mean, those are titular, uh, uh, symbolic well, roles. At present, uh, at present it's, uh, it's not the Madesis who are the president and the vice president. Uh, the, after the uh, new constitution, we uh, had a new election, and uh, for the first time in the history of Nepal, we have uh, uh, a lady president uh, and uh, also the speaker. She is also uh, a woman who comes from a uh, marginalized uh, indigenous group. Uh, so, but um, what, what I'm trying to say is uh, that the present constitution, so although uh, there are some grievances um, in some areas, but basically it's a compromise um, constitution which provides uh, rights uh, to every section of the Nepalese society. Will you give the, the Madeses what they want? Will you give them more? Well, they have some grievances and uh, they have raised some demands. Out of that, uh, we have already agreed on some points. Uh, the uh, the Constitution Amendment Bill has already been tabled in the Parliament and hopefully we will be able to approve that very soon. Uh, and beside that, there is a very contentious issue of uh, demarcation uh, of the provinces. Uh, in that also, we have assured them um, uh, uh, we, we will form a uh, political, high-level political committee and with uh, a three-months mandate uh, to force consensus, um, including the grievances of the uh, Madesi parties. So uh, I think uh, with this offer, um, they, they should be happy and uh, end uh, the agitation. Okay, as so honest. and the blockade will then be lifted, will it? Well, the blockade. Have they given you that undertaking? Um, so far, the blockade party is concerned. It's not uh, only the Madesi parties. Yet, in some points, uh, Madesi parties are active. Uh, but uh, with India, uh, besides the uh, affected uh, points, there are other almost half a dozen points where there is, uh, the, uh, life is very normal. Right? So, but unfortunately, uh, from India, 
there has been obstruction on transit and uh, supply system. So it's basically, it's not the uh, agitating political party. It is from the government of India. Uh, this uh, obstruction has taken place. And you've been to India, I think, on two occasions in, in, in yes. recent months. And, and what have they assured you? I'm quite hopeful. I, I visited uh, New Delhi twice uh, in two months. Uh, and my last visit and my meeting with uh, my counterpart, Foreign Minister Susma Soras, has been very useful. And uh, we have come to an understanding. Um, I, I think my, that uh, visit has uh, helped in clearing the year of misunderstanding. Between what, what, what did you clear up then when you say it was a helpful had, visit? Yeah, they had some grievances um, uh, about uh, uh, on the way the constitution has been promulgated. So I told them very clearly that uh, the, so far the Madesi problem is concerned, that is Nepal's internal problem. And we are ready to uh, resolve through negotiation internally. So and, uh, the internal uh, matter should not be tied up with Nepal-India relations, and especially the trade uh, relations are completely different. So, so has India desisted now from getting involved, or, or do you think it still is involved? Yeah, I think now they have realized that it's uh, about time they, they should uh, delink uh, the Nepal's internal problem and Nepal-India uh, relations. And they've given you an assurance that they have done that or will do that? Uh, I hope so, that it might take some time, but they have given me assurances that uh, if uh, some improvement has taken place on the uh, Nepalese political front, um, they, they are ready to uh, ease it out. In fact, there has been some improvement in the last couple of days also. Um, I had um, talked to um, uh, Foreign Minister Sozra's uh, last uh, week also, and uh, I'm quite hopeful that uh, uh, eventually um, the common sense will prevail and we'll have a, uh, 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 we'll be back into the normal. All right. Okay. Kamal uh, Tapa, thank you very much indeed, Deputy Prime Minister and uh, Foreign Minister. Thank you so much. Right. You're watching Global. Stay with us. Still to come.